Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to today's lesson. Okay, today I just want to discuss the homework that you've done previously. Okay, so you can check your answers. This is in your workbook, Get Smart for Workbook, page 39. Okay, page 39. So in activity 2, we have to write a or an or some. Okay, so remember that we use some for uncountable things that we cannot count like flour, oil, water, milk okay and then for things we can count we use a or n n is for words that begin with a e i o u okay number one we need flour okay flour is something we cannot count so we use some we need some flour and eggs can you see the s here so there are a few eggs here so we cannot use a or n a or n here means one okay a or n means only one so there are a few eggs here so we can use some eggs so the word sum here we can use it for countable nouns things we can count and uncountable nouns things we cannot count so we need some flour and some eggs to make pancakes Number two, there are kiwis in the fridge. So again, plural, we cannot use a or n, we need to use some. Some kiwis in the fridge. Number three, there's sugar. Sugar we cannot count, so we need to use uh, some. There's some sugar in the cupboard. Number four, there's biscuit for you too now this is singular and we can count biscuit so you can use a there's a biscuit for you too number five lemonade we cannot count so we use some there's some lemonade on the table and sandwich we can count sandwich okay so here we use a because there's no ES behind. So, a sandwich. Number six, you can have. Now, A E I O U, you see that? A E I O U. So, we need to use N. Okay, there's no S here, so we can use an apple. N. Again, A E I O U. You can have an apple and an ice cream for dessert. Okay, so we use an apple and an ice cream. Next, let's move on to page 40. This is page 40, next page. What food is there in the kitchen? Look and write. Okay, there's a piece of cake on the table. Okay, there's a piece of cake on the table. So only one piece, we write a piece. Number two, there are two of water. Okay, so this is what we call bottle. Two bottles, so we put S. Two bottles of water and a... What do you call this? Juice. This is a carton. Okay, a carton of juice in the fridge. Number three, that's a cereal. Cereal is over here. This is a box. There's a box of cereal in the cupboard. Number four, there are six cans. It is what we call can. So six cans, put S. Six cans of lemonade on the table. Number five, there's a crisps in the cupboard. So uh, this is it. So if you remember your textbook, we put the answer back. A bag of crisps. Okay, so a piece of cake, bottles of water, carton of juice, a box of cereal, cans of lemonade, bag of crisps. D2, look at the picture in activity 1 and answer. Are there any bottles of lemonade on the table? Let's look at the table. These are called cans of lemonade not bottles so no there aren't any bottles of lemonade 
Okay. Are means are not. Number two, is there any cake in the fridge? You look at the fridge, there's no cake in the fridge. So we write no. No. The question asks you, is there? So we answer, there isn't. Because we don't see any cake. So no, there isn't any cake. To so stop. No, there isn't any cake. Number four, is there any juice in the fridge? Let's look at the fridge. Do we have any juice? Yes, we have. Okay, there's a carton of juice. So here we answer yes, comma, there is. Full stop. Okay, is there any juice? Yes, there is. Oh, I missed out number three. Okay, let's look at number three. Are there any crisps, crisps in the cupboard? Yes, I think so. We have a bag of crisps here. So we write, yes, there. Okay, the question use are. You see that? Are there. So we use are as well. Yes, there are. To stop. Number five, are there any biscuits in the cupboard? Let's look at the cupboard. No, we don't see any biscuits. We only have cereal and crisps. So, no. There are not. The question uses are, so we usually use are. But instead of are not, we write aren't. Apostrophe T. Okay, no, there aren't. Number six, is there any milk in the fridge? Let's look at the fridge. Do we see any milk? No. Alright, no, no milk. So the question used is, we also use is. No, there is not, or we write there isn't. Apostrophe T. Page 41, this is the homework that I gave you on Tuesday. So please check your homework, check your answers. Okay, this is a cup, okay, a cup. So we can write a cup of tea, okay. Would you like a cup of tea, please? Okay, would you like a cup of tea? This is a glass, so we can write a glass of milk okay a glass of milk number three this is a piece of cake so we write a piece of cake okay a piece of cake number four this is a bar okay this is a bar you see that whole bar here so we write a bar of chocolate number five this is a can, a can of lemonade. Number six, this is a box of cereal. Okay, remember to read uh, your spelling. Okay, I'll give you a spelling when I see you in the next lesson on these words here. Okay, activity two, we have to write how much or how many. Now, we use much for Things we cannot count, uncountable. And we use many, how many for things we can count. Countable nouns. Okay, number one, glasses of milk. So can we count glasses of milk? We cannot count milk, but we can count glasses of milk, right? You look here, we can count this. One glass, two glasses, three glasses. So yes, we can count glasses, so we need to write, we need to use many. How many? Okay, how many glasses of milk do you drink every day? Okay, then you have to answer the question. Okay, if you drink one glass, then you say, then you answer, I drink a glass. If none, then you write, I don't drink milk. Okay. 
Now you drink two glasses of milk, then you just write I drink two glasses every day. Okay, number two, water. Can we count water? No, we can't. So we need to use much. How much water do you drink? Okay, for me, I drink about two bottles. So right here, I drink two bottles daily or every day. Number three, hours. Can we count hours? Um, yes, we can. One hour, two hours. So we need to use how many. How many hours do you sleep? Okay, so you answer how many hours I sleep. 8 hours a day Number 4 um, Exercise Okay, we can't really count that So we use How much do you exercise? Okay, then you answer I exercise daily Number 5 Meals Can you count meals? Yes, we can 1, 2, 3 meals So we use many how many meals do you eat every day? So you answer I eat 3 meals Number 6 Bars of chocolate You can count bars 1 bar, 2 bars So how many bars of chocolate do you eat every week? Okay, if you don't eat any, you just write I don't eat chocolate Okay, D3 is rather simple, it's just for fun. Anna wants to make a cake. Uh, she has some of the things, but what else does she need? Write the shopping list. So look at the picture there, that she has some eggs here. She has three eggs, so no need. Uh, uh, okay, she has three eggs. Uh, she has a bag of flour, a bar of chocolate. Now look at the ingredients that you need to make chocolate cake. So you need a cup of butter. And she doesn't have a butter. So you need to write butter on the shopping list. And you also need sugar. Does she have sugar? No. So you also need to write sugar here for her to buy. You need 6 eggs. Now she only has 3 eggs. You see that? So you still need to buy another 3 eggs okay two cups of flour i think that's enough that's whole bag of it half cup of milk okay so she needs to buy milk and lastly two bars of chocolate she only has one so you still need to buy chocolate Okay, so this is a shopping list. She needs to buy these five items to make her chocolate cake. Okay, for your homework today, I just want you to continue your module, English module. This is page three. Okay, page thr three. Uh, this is on the Egyptian topic, match and rewrite. So you just match it. All right, for example, Egyptians okay find the correct answer uh, speak arabic okay egyptian speak arabic so you write the sentence number one here egyptians speak arabic okay and number two you continue the longest river in the world uh, the nile is in egypt so you write the whole sentence here in number two okay so you only have to complete this page page three in your english module Okay, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.